Yes. How about Perfect. now? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. So thank you uh, very much for having me. Um, uh, my name is Mehera Hassan. I am a research associate. Uh, at the Institute of Machine Tools and Factory uh, Management here at the Technical University in Berlin. And we are also the coordinator of um, a Horizon 2020, a project called Open Next that tries to, um, um, to develop um, a, a collaboration or strategic collaborations between companies and open and uh, open hardware community members to be able to develop and um, product and services. Uh, in an open source hardware. So um, um, before going uh, ahead and introducing um, the project or OpenNext itself, I would like to start by a vision that um, that we all share together here um, as uh, within the project, which, which is that the future is definitely going to be uh, open and the product creation is not going to happen um, within the company, but it's going to happen within a community setup. So today, uh, the industrial product uh, creation or uh, today industrial product creation is still very risky. It's expensive uh, and also it's super, super uh, not super sustainable. So um, and this could be a direct consequences of how we develop product and uh, of how we develop product nowadays. So there is a lot of over engineering, a lot of plant obsolescence and also there is a lot of lack of inclusivity. So still today, uh, development, designing, and pro producing of products is happening be behind um, company walls. It's IP product uh, product uh, protected, and it's also super far away uh, from from the main users um, of this uh, of those products. So it's developed in the company, and the users are are way far away from the development or the design uh, process. On the other hand. Um, Thanks to the open source uh, movement and also to access to technology, users and community members does not want to sit and receive products anyway, but they have the capability, the ability, and the interest to be uh, to uh, to actually in the, to actually be part of this developing um, and uh, process. So the the main idea of the product is that is that now for small and medium sized enterprise there is a, a big opportunity to just stop uh, developing uh, products and services indoors and moving ahead to uh, join forces with all the great uh, community members working there on open source and, and uh, dissolve this company walls and move ahead to um, a strategic collaboration that would benefit everybody, which is what we call company community collaboration that we in OpenX are trying to crystallize. So a few words to the um, project itself. So OpenX, it's a research project funded under the European uh, Union Research and Innovation Program as part of Horizon 2020. And it's um, basically covered and uh, covering a call called Factories of the Future. It's how product and services are going to be developed in the future. And the project uh, itself bring together um, 19 different partners from seven European countries. Uh, we're talking here research institutes and, and university, plus also um, a lot of great uh, enterprises, um, um, uh, platform providers, and maker uh, spaces plus SMEs who joined us together to be able to realize this vision of how this collaboration between companies and community could then influence the way we uh, design, produce, and also distribute the uh, products um, in the future. The project is three years. It started uh, in September 20. And we're continuing now at the final uh, stage of the project, moving ahead to November this year. So how we talk about a collaboration between companies and also open source hardware communities, but how is the whole setup then done or how is the whole vision? So the main idea is that we wanted to bring companies from to bring companies and then uh, support them, unleash the potential of open source hardware, how to do that by working together in product development together with fab labs and community members so all these three major players here the companies the fab lab and the community members community could be community of users of uh, of uh, of individuals um, and also could be the um, the community of the company themselves so 
uh, we were trying to create what we called an, uh, an open source development ecosystem where those players would come together and then we would look how could this, uh, the development of products happening and how we could facilitate that. So OpenNext is trying to see what are the needed components that needs to be established in order for this to happen? So we are looking into the needed ICT infrastructure for certain collaboration. What kind of business models then would make sense because companies would be scared if we talk about uh, open source hardware as a way, uh, as a strategic way to make a business, but actually this is possible. So we're looking in researching into business models and facilitating uh, of that as a viable uh, as a viable way to produce products and services, prototyping facilities, how maker spaces could join in and um, and help uh, facilitating a place where this community members and company could come together to do. Uh, physical prototypes of these products and services. And then, of course, to support all that going on, there would be other aspects like, for example, uh, collaboration design processes, licensing, uh, the topic of licensing, the topic of documentation as it's key for uh, open source um, hardware. So the, the project is set up in a way that we will do this. Um, we will do what we call action uh, research. So there would be uh, um, uh, specific pilot cases, which uh, each makerspace will, uh, in OpenNext, has partnered with, uh, uh, with uh, companies, and then we created what we called OpenNext clusters. So in four um, different cities within the European Union, it, a makerspace will, uh, will be uh, as a hub and then join forces with two um, different SMEs. They, uh, the scope of OpenNext focus on uh, electro uh, consumer electronics, built to order furniture, and also um, um, sustainable mobility. So this cluster itself, the makerspace, would help the SMEs define a specific product or service that they want to do together along OpenNext. And we have run six different pilots from um, um, mid of 2020 until end of 2021 in uh, Copenhagen with Maker, in Amsterdam with Vag uh, uh, as a fab lab, and I, also in Berlin. I, I, I'm just sorry to interrupt, Maya, but then I, we seem to have lost your video and... Uh, lost uh, my video. Uh, but could you still see my presentation? Your webcam, no. That's quite... Uh... Uh, problematic. Let me. I will try to uh, reshare. You too. Mm -hmm. How about now? Yes. Yes, you're back. Thank you. All right. Um. Uh, sorry for the interruption. And then um. Uh, after those cases were studied and the results were concluded. We have expanded since the beginning of this year by adding another cluster in, in, in Vienna. And the, to validate the findings and, uh, of this phase, we have started in January by inviting new 12 SMEs to join OpenNext, to join OpenNext 4 clusters in order to see, um, to, to see if all the tools and all the methods that has been developed uh, can be validated through this phase. So ha we started now going uh, from January to June with 12 interesting SMEs that are going on now hard and strong. So in this part of the presentation, I would just also want to talk a bit about what is the type of project that has been developed within each cluster. So starting with the Ber Berlin clusters, the prototypes for, uh, for Europe who are also with us in, um, in this uh, session has helped two companies. I will start with Sono Motors. Sono Motors is a self-charging um, uh, electric car uh, developed by a German company here in Germany. And the main idea, they partnered with us because they wanted to work with their own community and personalize uh, those, uh, the, those cars. So they want community members to come in uh, and then the design specific personalized item within the car. This was done um, together with prototypes where an open call was open, community members uh, shared their design. They were invited to come into Sono Motors to prototypes and six uh, interesting prototypes emerged from, from, uh, from that. Also prototypes has helped 
Open Sci uh, Open, uh, the Pocket Science Lab from Open Tech um, uh, to be able to move from a, um, an early uh, product to a product that could be actually commercialized. Um, the three upcoming sessions are going to talk a lot more about how this collaboration with the with the with the community member of Force Asia, I would say, um, has uh, has emerged uh, through the Open Next and. Um, uh, I'll also be around for uh, for that. Moving on to the next cluster, uh, the VAG um, the VAG Society also had two very interesting cases of Sodak, which is uh, an IoT company who was interested in um, developing an air quality sensor for the city of Amsterdam, but wanted to do so together with community members. So the collaboration that were uh, that. Uh, the targeted community of concern. So people who are actually going later to utilize this sensor to come and work together with the Fab Lab and Sodak in order to uh, discuss what kind of a design would be accepted, what kind of a technology would be accepted. And this is key for such a company to be able to move ahead with the development of a sensor that later on is going to be adopted by this community. On the other hand, Fiction Factory, it's a very interesting SMEs that wanted to join us in uh, in uh, in uh, in OpenNext to be able to utilize open source uh, to be able to utilize open source in order to find a sustainable way to deal with their CNC waste uh, machinery. So they wanted to work together with the community and develop open source hardware. Uh, different products uh, that could be actually generated or de developed out of this waste material. And VAS Society helped uh, moving ahead with that. Moving to the Copenhagen uh, cluster, Maker also had quite an interesting collaboration with um, with uh, XYZ Cargo and Stika. I will share some of the findings. So Stika is a built-to-order uh, furniture company who actually who is committed to the open source uh, movement and believe that open source is not um, is not scary. It's actually the way they want to do uh, business. And within Open Next, they uh, they worked at the last desk, which is um, uh, a design for this assembly desk. And they wanted their community member to design plugins and be able to make modular designs out of your desk. So you get all the documentations of the desk and then you move ahead uh, as a designer by by actually talking about how could you what 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 would what are your needs and then design your own plugins they open this call they are so committed to the open source they have their own uh, platform uh, for open development with the with their community uh, of designers and then they openly share the designs with them and then also moving ahead um, uh, a lot of designs. Uh, they, they they did a design competition. A lot of a lot of designs came in, and they took it to the next level. Um, and having prototyping sessions within the company, but also within the uh, the maker spaces. So specific, the community members were invited in to be able to realize the designs that they want, and then eventually there was a scheme of how could this design then be featured in their website and how could then the community benefit from specific re revenue streams for, uh, streams for the design that would uh, would be sold. Uh, the other interesting case was from XYZ Cargo, which is um, cargo bikes that the company wanted to uh, develop add-ons to just have different features and different functions for this uh, cargo buy, uh, cargo buys. The company is based in Hamburg. They uh, wanted to be able to just um, uh, create a community of designer and develop and be fully committed to open source hardware when it comes to the design of add-ons. The way the collaboration went is through an open call. They received 70 different uh, um, uh, inputs regarding um, designs contribution. And then this was moved from an online uh, collaboration with the community to a real life collaborations where one-to-one -one meetings has happened until um, uh, specific uh, designs were selected for further, um, for further um, prototyping. So now, uh, so during the open next there, there would be uh, an add-on that will add to the bike 
uh, that shapes a workshop uh, bike and also a food bike and also a music um, uh, kind of a bike. The most interesting part of uh, of um, of um, XYZ Cargo is that from the very beginning they believed in um, in 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 the open source movement and also they believe that there should be a payback, a way to pay back the contribution the contributors of uh, the contributors from the community members and a lot of discussions went into what would be the best way to also uh, pay back not only um, uh, once but instantly as this design would be uh, moved forward. So we consider it also a very, very interesting um, case. Um, as of, the, of these cases has happened, the maker spaces gain more competence and uh, we moved ahead by bringing along 12 new SMEs that started also on their own individual uh, projects from January and they are continuing on a lot of interesting cases who are um, looking into um, uh, build to order furniture. Also uh, interesting community members like one of the cases is uh, developing uh, or trying to uh, develop um, a device for uh, blind and visually impaired people to just also uh, on a bigger mission to bring them into maker spaces, developing and uh, 3D printing their own um, uh, their own device. A lot of interesting projects in the direction of uh, refrigeration um, for Im remote areas. This is also taking place in uh, in maker. Uh, we are also um, making um, an, an event end, uh, end of June uh, that will demonstrate all the 18 cases, including this, the 12 new cases that are taking place now. And um, the project will continue. All the, um, the findings, the tools are going to be documented as part of the book that will be uh, uh, published later. We're also trying to, uh, to establish... Um, um, to establish uh, a way for makerspaces to come together to learn from this experience so that they could be open source developing um, labs and could help further SMEs uh, take the steps and uh, join um, the, op see the opportunity in uh, collaborating together with community members and benefiting uh, from, um, and, 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 and actually contributing and benefiting from the open source uh, movement. To know more about us, uh, check our website, also at our project hub, at our partners um, uh, website, our, uh, our partners platform, Wikifactory. And uh, we will be publishing information soon about the, our demonstration day, end of June um, in Berlin. And I hope that you could also join us there. Thank you very much and I'm open for 